Yes, from this catheter, follow the artery, shoulder, and then down to the heart, found the artery, then I inject the contrast. Now, you can see here, in this patient, once I inject the contrast, he has about 80% narrowing here, right? Can you see? Can you see? Okay? Now, this is what we call the artery in the front of the heart, the left anterior descending artery. It has an area about 80 90 percent. This guy has angina, so our intention is to do an angioplasty to open up this artery for him. Okay, so we now see this lesion. Okay, you can see now clearly there's an area in here. Okay, that has slowed down the flow of blood into this artery. So, what we have to do now is to put a wire. I said to you just now, we have a very fine wire. Okay, uh, this one I will. Hold it up here, but I'm afraid you can't see it because it's a tiny 0 0.014 of an inch wire. The tip of this wire is very soft. We make a tiny angle. That's what I'm doing now in the picture. You can see I'm making a tiny angle, about 30 degree, maybe sometimes 45 degree, so that I can adjust and rotate the, the other end of the wire. So this one will go to anywhere that I want it to go. Okay? So this wire now goes into the catheter. It follows the catheter into the artery. And you see now, Okay, there you go. That was the lesion just now. The wire now has crossed this lesion already. You can see a black line here. Okay, it has entered the lesion. Then what I'll do is I will advance this wire all the way down to the artery. Okay, right? There we go. Okay, so the wire has gone all the way down. Okay, to the artery. Now what do I do next? I put a stent there. This lesion is about eighty percent. It looks very smooth and soft. I can put a stent immediately without using a balloon to dilate the artery first. Okay? So, this is a stent. I just put it already. See? Okay? There's a stent here. Alright? Across that narrowing. I'm doing an injection to make sure that my stent is in the correct position. Okay? There you go. You see? Stent is here. Ah, there you go. That's the stent. Now, then, I inflate the stent. I inflate the balloon so the stent will also be inflated. Okay? So once the stent is inflated, I take the balloon out, then I do an injection. This is now the result. Okay? So there was a block on area here about 80 90 percent, and now it's opened up. Okay? Let's play for you. See? That's where the narrowing was. Okay? Now you can see the flow going down very fast. So, finish. Beginning to the end, 10 minutes. Okay, so this is how simple a coronary angioplasty is now, nowadays. That's I want you to understand that when we talk about, oh, you've got heart blockages, and a lot of people are afraid of going to see a doctor, I'm trying to convince you that you don't have to worry. Okay, techniques, medical devices, medical science have improved so much, okay, that to open up an artery for you is actually a very simple procedure. I can't speak for everybody, of course, but okay, it is becoming a very simple technique already. Okay? And then, as I said, you know, I finished this case at 9 o'clock, 10 minutes. This patient will go back to the ward. You know? He's going to go back to the ward and rest there until 6 p.m. I see him at 6 p.m. If the wrist has no bleeding and there's no swelling and the patient is very comfortable, by 7 o'clock, the patient will leave hospital. Okay? Now, some of my patients will leave hospital, they go to the Penny Plaza shopping complex and with their family, they have a meal there and then they walk around and have a bit of shopping. That's what I said. Morning angioplasty, evening shopping. Okay? So, just to summarize to you, this radio artery or wrist approach to do an angioplasty has multiple advantages. Okay? It is a day case procedure. It can be done as a day case procedure if you do it early. The patient is comfortable with this procedure. Why? Because I don't have to use your groin, you know. Because if I use your groin, you have to lie in bed for 12 hours after the procedure. You can't even go to the toilet and pass urine. Okay? The nurse has to bring a bottle for you. For you to pass urine, lying on there. You cannot stand up. If you stand up, you'll bleed, you know, from the groin. Okay? So doing it from the wrist is much more comfortable for the patient. It is cheaper because you don't stay overnight in the hospital. <laughs> okay? No groin attack, you know, we're not interested to press on your groin and all these things, you know, expose your groin, 
shape the hair and all sorts of things. Okay? If you have never done it before, you're going to do it for yourself, then you know what. Okay? So, and to control bleeding, the wrist artery is a smaller artery. It's much more superficial near to the skin. So we can control bleeding much easier compared with the artery in the groin.